Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 21 October. It's a Wednesday. Dollar got slammed overnight. Bonds got trashed. That's sort of the most important thing here. Uh, let's look at ZN here. Boom. That's a four hour chart today. You don't you don't see this too often. In Asia crushed um, gotta see what happens in the cash session but this is a very very important break um, just to put things in context you want to be looking at the yield on this stuff US 10Y This is us breaking out of 80 basis points. Now we're at 83. Um, the long end, which is our favorite trade longer term, is just sitting here. I feel like singing Lou Reed. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Take a walk on the wild side. This is very important. Uh, and this, if you want to throw some logic at it, which I caution you, but there is, I guess, some logic. You know, close to three trillion in stimulus. If the blue wave, which everyone is now predicting, comes through, how do you pay for that? You sell a fuckload of bonds. Um, and so yields are going to go higher. Price is going to go lower. Watch this space. Watch this level. Very, very key on the yield. This is the yield. 30-year treasury bond yield, as it says up here. Anyway, bonds are turning. It's probably a good time to just sell some uh, BTPs as well. BTPs are yielding like 70, 74 basis points. IT10Y is BTPs, IT10Y. Um, you know, this shit's been trading for like literally 700, 800 years. It's never been down here. If I put on your yearly chart, I, I could show you, but I don't even feel like it. You don't want to pick the exact turn. When this turns, you want to be you want to be paying attention. Um, and one of the things that's just likely to happen is if the U.S. goes into massive stimulus mode, um, Europe will just do the copycat and feel more comfortable with massive stimulus and do the same. So I mean, the pivot. I don't know, 85 basis points, but. These have obviously been tricky. We were wrong at 1%, went all the way down to 63 basis points. Um, are BTPs going to turn? Eventually, yes. Is today the day? I don't know. Is it the focus? It is not the focus. The focus is ZB and ZN, the US side, because that's moving and that's breaking. Um, but just keep your eye on ZN. This is dollar CNH. It's crashed through the recent lows. A lot of fresh air down here. This is like one of the cleanest ways to express short dollar. Euro seems a bit convoluted. Uh, a lot of bad shit going on in Europe. So there's many reasons to hold back on your Euro side of this trade. Dollar CNH looks like the cleanest way. We do not have this on. Just watching here. In fact, we were expecting a turn after um, after China changed reserve requirements, but that was this uh, reserve requirement change. Six sixty-eight was low. Now we're five hundred points through that big puke. You can see a lot of people thought that. And a lot of people left stops through 668. 
anyway, let's go on to Euro. Held up pretty well. Um, going up a lot easier than it's going down. We got some resistance up here. Obviously, we broke this sort of pennant. Very grindy. Very low vol. I think G7 vols. It's kind of the lowest, all-time lows. Um, but Euro should continue to grind higher. Cable, as we all know, is is an animal. Um, what is it? It's like trapping a raccoon, and that's on crack. Uh, trading cable, you know, the thing just lashes out at you. It's probably got rabies. Um, probably hungry. Doesn't really have a plan. Um, I'd avoid cable. Uh, is is unless you like playing with raccoons on crack. I, I would avoid cable. Dollar Swiss looks like she's going to tip. You're going to see a lot of um, Swiss names on the bid at 90 cents again. Getting If you get through 90 cents, I'd be, I'd be a bit worried. Today, I don't think we're going to get through that. Fall is incredibly low, as you can see. That's a 14-point range so far. Nothing to see there. Dollar Yen. We kind of have this line drawn looks better on the four hourlies it's kind of like the recent boringness defined let's say if we get through 105 um, this may accelerate downside we still uh, believe dollar yen lower but it's just the vol's shitty so got to be patient and just kind of nip and grab the more um, obvious trade and when Europe gets in I think you'll see the first flush will be buying of uh, gold. 1940 is a nice pivot up there. You will probably want to add to longs uh, through 1940. This probably happens in in uh, in the U.S. But gold should go higher in this sort of. You know, the market has just kind of decided, firmly decided, and I would say they decided last night or over the last two days that they're going to sell dollars into this election. Biden's going to win. There's going to be loads of stimulus. Um, the value of the dollar will be tarnished by all of this stimulus. Uh, God forbid there's no growth. Then there's a whole hornet's nest of shit coming America's way. Um, you know, there's a million reasons. New York is teetering on bankruptcy. No one wants to talk about that. There's a million reasons um, that this ends up being 1975, which was basically the last gasp of the last Nixon. You know, so we had Ford as president, who was just like a Nixon stand-in, uh, Michigan grad, so I, I like Ford. Um, then you had this old, soft, really kind... Uh, Midwestern Democrat come in, Carter, and, you know, New York City was teetering on bankruptcy in the late 70s, uh, and yields shot up crazily, so I really, I see a lot of similarities, if you're a pattern, historical pattern watcher, between basically what's going on here, 2020, and what was going on in 1976. Uh, and then we're going to get four years of this, and then the country will decide, or there will be an event that decides for the country, which was what happened in 1980 uh, with the hostages, which brought Reagan into play. Um, but four years of Biden for me means lower U.S. dollar, a questioning of the value, a safe haven of the U.S. dollar. Um, and more importantly, um, the asset that gets tarnished the most is U.S. bonds. Anyway, I don't know why I'm saying this when we're talking about today's open. This is a tactical video. We talk about tactical sort of short-term trades here. Um, your long-term trades and your long-term trade book uh, can express this other stuff. Um, but as far as short term today, gold should be bought at the open. There will be bids in euro, uh, most likely 
sort of 90 figure. I mean, we're at 47 now, so that doesn't really help. Let's look at ES here. You get the feeling this is gonna this is gonna fold over. Everyone knows how um, how much I'm skeptical of South African economy, South African leadership. Um, doesn't look great from a distance, uh, but the chart here says this thing's going down. And through 40, any last longs are going to probably have to capitulate. And then certainly um, through 36. And then we have this pennant support at 31. Um, looks like she wants lower. And if we do get a real consensus, let's smoke the dollar, which it looks like is happening. I mean, look at dollar CAD, 13090. Look at dollar MEX, 2103. Um, EM will go along for the ride. So, short dollars today. Uh, the most straightforward and the most logical is gold. The least logical is dollars are. Often the least logical pays. Um, Watch 1640 in dollars R. Um, watch 1940. It's a percent away in gold, so that's probably more for tomorrow. And then fixed income. It's on. It happened in Asia last night. Big flush lower. ZN is at 138.14. You can sell basically 19 to 29s today. Um, and ZB is, I think, at 20 now. Yeah, 19. And then, 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 then 19. Um, just hit the bid in ZB. This is going to break that 160 yield level. Um, Got to be short U.S. fixed income. Goodbye. Good luck. See you tomorrow.